I have a love-hate relationship with the internet because thanks to the algorithm, a lot of these children are going to be just as sheepy as we were. You know, in my opinion, I think the most disgusting thing about American politics is the two-party system. The Democrats and the Republicans' voices are so loud that they drown out every other taxpayer an individual who has to obey the law and the Constitution. It's like, if you are not a Democrat or a Republican, you don't have a right to speak on the politics of this nation. It's diabolical in the way it reinforces the erasure of our indigenous and our African ancestry. It takes me back in my spirit to how it must have felt for our ancestors who wanted no parts of the forming nation in 1777. The ancestors who were already here, because all my ancestors did not come over on slave ships. It takes me back to how they were reclassified over and over and over again to disassociate them from any ties to the land because they didn't fit the image of what we wanted the American Indian to look like. It also takes me back to how disconnected and silenced my ancestors must have felt who came via the Atlantic slave trade and were treated like they had no voice because they were immigrants and chattel, even though the nation that was being formed was founded by people who were immigrants and foreign to this land. Talking about individuals who have been here for hundreds of years and who have legitimately never had a voice because they were unwilling to assimilate into the dominant culture. They were unwilling to play ball. And so they were discarded. They were silenced. And they're still being placed in bondage via the educational system, via the military, and via the prison industrial complex. Because we all know if you refuse the draft, where you going? And that's without your consent. To this very day. Don't y'all realize that if you are not welcoming everyone who participates in society, whether they are pro-Trump or pro-Kamala, if you are not inviting everyone to the table, then you are no better than those colonizers who came over here and oppressed the ancestors who were already here and made chattel out of the immigrants who came via the Atlantic slave trade. You are no better than them. My voice still should matter. We shouldn't always be focused on what is in front of us. We need to be focusing on what could be by remembering the mistakes of what was. What was was erasure and silence. And when y'all continue to perpetuate that same violence to people by excluding them from the conversation because they're withholding their vote, you are no different than the colonizers that came over here in the beginning. So don't be out here stumping and marching talking about Black Lives Matter and complaining about white supremacy when you're compliant and complicit with it now. With that said, people who get out here and rally and campaign and organize and work and pay taxes and try their best to follow the laws of this corrupt land, we're not a part of the problem because we withhold our vote. We're actually a part of the solution because we're still fighting for the freedom that many of you have given up on by accepting the illusion of democracy.